angels willing to hold us in their arms When our worth of stone or ashes And we both passed on Let forever mean forever and carry on Good afternoon. So, uh... <laughs> Be a good day to get that brick wall installed. Good weekend, good week, good month, good year. Yeah. Wow. So, I don't think there's going to be like an official announcement. I don't think there's going to be like some uh, scantily dressed chick, right, with big old boobs with, with uh, uh, a flag that walks out in the middle of the street and waves the flag in the air and says, Civil War has started! But I'm starting to see the signs that it has. Two nights in New York City? Hmm. I don't know about you, but that damn sure looks like Civil War to me. Damn sure looks like Civil War to me. Uh, belong to several Facebook groups. You guys know this. A um, lot of prepper groups in one. Uh, today, a picture was shared of a woman. I don't know the circumstances because all you see is a picture of a woman that has been pelted and pelted and pelted with rubber bullets. No associated news article, no nothing, no name, no context, no nothing. They like doing this. And of course, everybody who don't riot. <laughs> well, how the fuck do you know she was rioting? You know? 99.9% .9 of the comments were condemning this woman. For having a barrage, a barrage of bullets. I don't, yeah, I'm going to do it. Hang on. Stand by. For lack of having better common sense. Oops. Hang on. Stand by again. Two different browsers. One won't fit into the other. So anyway, uh, again, sorry, but yeah, that's a few shots. That's a few shots. That's it, folks. That's all you get. It says this is the damage caused by rubber bullets. That's it. I don't see anything anywhere saying riot. I don't see anything anywhere indicating anything uh, about this. But yet everybody's going off in the comments as if it's done confirmed deal that she was the most wanted rioter that night. We don't know this. Man, some of these people take pleasure and doing this to people. I can't get behind that. How, how these so-called human beings sleep at night? You know, I posed the question, or, you know, I, I, I should say I posed a statement. You know, it's real funny until it's us and, you know, individual and property rights. Now, of course, I'm wrong. I'm completely wrong. They would never do something like red flag law us. Never. Never. Not even on their scope of possibilities. Nah. That's, that's conspiracy talk. Right? See, that's the sad thing. I can tell you the truth, and it's conspiracy talk. But people can talk about all kinds of crazy flat earth bullshit, or how COVID 19's fake, or this or that or the other thing, and that's good. But I can't tell you the truth because that's off the wall. It's 
it's weird. Very weird. Um, you know this this is why there's this divide, and it's it's only going to get deeper, wider, and and <laughs> it's going to get violent. It's going to get damn violent. People are ignorant. And I'm speaking on both sides here. People are ignorant. You know, I don't have to have anybody's permission to exist. I don't have to have any of your permission to exist. I, I, the, only, the only permission I need to exist is from the Father. Amen. And that goes the same for each and every one of you. And each and every one of them. Because we were all created equally by the Father. And, you know, it's interesting because, and I'm not going to call anybody out. And I'm not trying to call anybody out. But this needs to be said. You have individuals out there that promote the Father's Word but seem to lose sight of it a little bit when it comes to the state versus the people. Not necessarily their people, but the people shouldn't be any difference in our minds when it comes to rights but clearly there is <laughs> I've said it a million times and this is the very thing in action we are demanding our rights be taken away that's what we're doing. We are demanding our rights be taken away. I made a comment on Facebook this morning and didn't really realize when I typed it out originally just how damn profound it was. And the more I thought about it, even though the simplest little statement had so much weight, What I said was, uh, well, I, I wound up making it a post of its own on Facebook, and, and I kind of added a little bit of a humor twist to it because, mm, whatever. But I posted, it just dawned on me this morning, we are literally living out Pink Floyd the Wall. Let that sink in. Seriously, it's hot out there. Hashtag Sinks Lives Matter. But nonetheless... You get the point. We are. We're living at Pink Floyd the Wall. Right? You remember watching the, the, the movie? That's awesome, right? The only way you'd understand is tripping on acid. You've been there, done that. I get it. I understand the movie. Okay, so here's the thing. Now it's a fucking documentary. Seriously. And if you haven't seen... Pink Floyd the Wall. Get it. Check it out. Check it out. You will recognize some things happening in that. It's a very, very weird movie. If you haven't seen it, it's very weird. That's why I jokingly talked about tripping when I watched it, which I have, but there was this old thing that you couldn't understand the movie unless you were tripping when you watched it. And I will say this, the movie has an entirely different depth when you, <laughs> when you do so. You, you could get what I'm saying without the hallucinogens. So you don't have to go on any street corners or anything like that. Um, no, just check the movie out. Um, exactly, exactly, you know, another brick in the wall, uh, that the whole nine yards, the education system, how they're stamping us all out like clones, which is what they are actually doing right now, 
That's what the cancel culture is about. They're getting rid of any any bit of our individuality in, that they can because once they get rid of our individuality, then we are 110% demoralized. We are no longer individuals. It's not a matter of identity crisis that we're in right now. It's a matter of a total fucking gone identity. There is a difference. A horrible, horrible difference. And the reason I can say that is because I went through it. I went through it. And by the grace of God, I was able to find the old mic which was a hell of a lot better than the mic that I had lost. So, I'm telling you, identity is a big thing, and right now in this country, we are experiencing massive identity problems. Kyle talked about it today uh, on his Patreon video, and he's right. He's right. Um, we're in for a ride, folks. I don't know if you've seen my video or not. Um, let me have a sip of coffee here. The spike. Man... So you remember how fucked up and disrupted everything was just two months ago, right? <laughs> Not nothing. Everybody's talking and debating and fighting about schools opening in August. And I'm laughing at them. Man, you can't trust any of them because they all have agendas. I'll say what I've been saying from the beginning. If you want to know what's going on, trust peak prosperity. Because from what I witnessed with my own eyes of watching it spread from China to um, Iran to, to Italy to just all over the, the planet. I was coming up with the same bizarre ideas or thoughts that he was. And he could better explain it and, and, and explain it in detail and it would amplify what I was already seeing. It would explain it to me and would, it would tell me why. And <laughs> I mean, people really... This was uh, put out today from our local city government here. Uh, it is with deep regret that we must close the Cordy Recreation Center immediately until Friday, July 17, 2020, after learning of a positive test of COVID-19 was in our facility. Therefore, we will be mandated to sterilize the entire facility and recommend that all guests that visited the Cordy Recreation in the week of July 6th through the 10th self-monitor for symptoms and take proper precautions. If you have any questions, contact your physician. This is real, folks. This is real. Um, again, I'm sure you probably saw the video that I put out earlier. If you have not saw the video that I put out earlier, I'm going to go ahead and show you the numbers now. Uh, as per the time of this show, they have not nixed the numbers. So we'll see what happens. So let me go over them, shall we? Uh, globally, 
total confirmed, 12,945,505. That is up 437,656. Active cases, 5,372,386. Recovered cases, 7,001,675. That's up 110,761. Fatal cases, 571,444. That's up 10,984. United States total confirmed, 3,366,515. That's up 75,521. Now, I've asked this before, you know, shouldn't the new cases be somewhere near what that number is? Well, we'll see. Uh, (laughs) Why sometimes yes, sometimes no is my question. Uh, Okay, active cases, 2,240,668. Recovered cases, 988,656. It's up 18,311. Fatal cases, 137,191. Sorry, that's up 570. I was on a roll there. I had to screw it up. Okay, so remember, 75,521 up here, okay? We are a little closer, right? This I could tolerate. <laughs> 97,870 is the number that they gave me, right? That is, 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 I know that's not the actual lyric. Um, any, anyway, that, that's crazy. That's like nuts. So, fatal cases. Damn! Right? 12,759. 12,759. And every other time that this has happened before the show, these numbers have changed. This time, this is the first time that there has been a spike. This is the third time there has been a spike that I have called out that, that, well, the two previous times, it disappeared even before I did the show. This time, It's still there. So, you're looking at it. You're looking at it. So, uh, let me see here. Here, uh, Illinois, we have 154,799 confirmed, 7,193 deaths. Uh, but our particular zip code is at, and that jumped up from earlier because I did check earlier today. Earlier today, this was 24 still. Now it is 27. So we have added three in our particular zip code. So we are now, at, and I was expecting that to go up with this information that I heard from Cordy Rec Center. And I do expect, uh, to be real honest, I expect it to cluster, cluster, boom. I do, right here. I expect it to cluster, cluster, boom, from here, from here. So, I know none of y'all live here. Maybe somebody might be listening that does. If you do, pay attention to that, all right? Don't be an idiot. Don't be an idiot. Um, okay, so, we gone over numbers. I suppose, uh, I suppose we could go over, oops, I... I nixed the wrong thing. One second here. Reopen, close, tab. There we go. Um, So anyway, I suppose we could go over the regular stuff. A little bit backwards today, but that's okay. Uh, Got some fun stuff to show you. But if you watched the video earlier today, you already know this. So um, anyway, uh, Amazon affiliate, we are at still at 45 cents. However, uh, there have been nine items ordered uh, since that one item, so that's going to go up uh, considerably. So nine items need to ship yet. When they ship, that will go up. For those that participate in that, I thank you very much. For those that don't know, down in the description of the videos, there is a link. Also at thewatchmannews.com, in the top right there, there's an Amazon affiliate link button. You click that, it just takes you to Amazon, but it does so with our special link. When you place an order, those items don't cost you anything more, but it throws a little bit our way for the sale. So all those little bits add up at the end of the month, and it's highly, highly appreciated. Uh, We also have a Teespring store. That's where the fun stuff comes. Bingo, it's there. 
This is my Civics Debate shirt. So uh, it is added to the Teespring store now. Um, however, there are kind of two versions of this all on the same page. So like if you click on there, it will take you to Teespring. And Teespring sometimes takes a little bit to load up. But there you go. Um, all the apparel, like the shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, stuff like that, has the lettering on it. Has the This Is My Civics Debate shirt, okay? However, if it's not apparel, uh, with the exception of the math, you could, you could argue that. But anyway, um, if it's not apparel, I took the lettering off because it doesn't make sense. Like a fanny pack is not a shirt, right? So I took the lettering off. Uh, phone cases, they're not shirts. So I took the lettering off. Same with tote bag, took the lettering off. But here's the cool thing. If you're reluctant, but you still want to protect yourself, you know, like... You're one of those guys that you, you, you know, you want to protect yourself, but you don't go buy the good Trojan condom. You get the one out of the bathroom machine for 50 cents. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Calm down. Uh, there's a, a cloth face mask here, if, if, uh, if you so choose. I, I, I saw that, and I thought, oh, dude, that is, that is priceless, right? Because I know there's a lot of people out there that are begrudgingly doing this with the masks okay and i'm not going to sit here and tell you to do either way you do what you deem fit yourself right because that's where i see the big issue going on right now if you want to talk about your feelings your thoughts on it that's one thing but don't tell anybody else to either wear or not to wear that's their own decision um, but anyway, I thought this would be kind of funny if you're one of those people that are in the boat that uh, begrudgingly wear one. This is kind of a, a funny answer for that. So uh, <laughs> it's right there uh, at Teespring. Go to the watchmannews.com, scroll down on the home page, click on the shirt with any of the designs you see, and it will take you to Teespring where it has all the different items. So anyway. Uh, let's see. We also have a uh, PayPal donate link. That's in the description of the videos as well as at thewatchmannews.com right there in the main menu. That just takes our PayPal donation page. You don't have to have a PayPal account. You can do so as a guest with a debit or a credit card. But I always let people know it does say transforming disabilities up top. It also says purpose the Watchman News donation. That way you know you are in the right place. So there we go. All that stuff out the window. We got a ton, and I mean a ton, of headlines. I mean, I was like scrolling, I swear, for it felt like days, right? Um, <clears throat> yes, I did get the news out over the weekend. Um, I, I, I know I'd slacked for the couple of prior weekends on, on tweeting out the news and stuff. Um, I do try to get it, uh, but there are times that I do need to, to get away, and that includes... Uh, reading the headlines and, and tweeting news. So let me have a sip of uh, coffee here and, and a vape, and we'll get started. Hmm. Damn. Uh, as long as I don't have to go without coffee. Okay. I'll, uh, I might bitch and moan a lot, but uh, I'll push forward. Okay. Got me a couple of vapes here. Alrighty. Okay, starting with Saturday's news. Um, Pizzagate 2.0 question mark Wayfair forced to deny bizarre rumors its overpriced cabinets are child trafficking front I haven't dug into this um, I haven't I'll tell you what right on the surface it feels to me an awful lot like a distraction I don't know I have not dug into it not even the slightest I uh, kind of have a few irons in the fire one might say um <coughs> so I, <coughs> pardon me, so I have not dug into this per se, but um, I don't know, I don't know, I, I'm not saying it's not possible, I'm not saying it's happening, I'm saying I don't freaking know, um, 
I, I mean, if, if, if they've got, like, video and, and, and stuff like that um, with, with children that are acting oddly um, in front of furniture, and I don't care if it's, it's some supposed uh, uh, audition video or bullshit like that, um, you know, if there's something, you know, look into it. Because I'm telling you, there's some way that they're doing this. Okay, there's there's some way that they're doing this, and I have no doubt that there aren't um, places online that you can go that would seem like anything, you know, any other normal, right? And uh, and I, I get it, I get it, but let's be careful. <laughs> let's just be careful. Um, I know. It's, I, I saw a picture. I didn't see a video or anything. I did see a picture of a young girl. Uh, in front of a uh, in, in front of a set of cabinets. I don't know if it was uh, from this article or not. To be honest, uh, let me scroll and look. Um, no, nah, I'm not seeing it. Um, I'm not sure where I saw that at, but um, man, that that image bothered me. And it was a picture. Just, just, just the, just the way the girl looked, and the look in her eyes. And, and I'm pretty good on this stuff, man. Um, man, that 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 picture did bother me. It did bother me. So, anyway, um, St. Louis police serve warrant and confiscate rifle from Ken and Karen, couple who brandished guns at BLM protesters against Saturday's news. Price of making U.S. state, Trump says he doesn't want to leave NATO, but allies' 2% spend is too little. Uh, not the same thing. Nancy Pelosi calls for law restricting presidential pardons after Trump commutes sentence of Roger Stone. Yeah, she kind of, uh, kind of lost it. Russia continues stockpiling gold, adding $2.7 billion to Forex reserves. That should be an indicator. Uh, we will not surrender. Iran vows to make more oil despite crippling U.S. sanctions. Anti-science saga, NBC contributor who documented harrowing battle with COVID-19 never had the virus. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, at least, hey, it wasn't CNN this time. At least we can say that. Uh, as U.S. beats sanctions drums over Hong Kong, Germany says keeping ties with China warm brings more stability and less conflict. Hmm. Okay. Think about this. I want you to think about what they're saying. Germany is saying that, uh, you know... And instead of trying to cause issues with China, why don't we try to work with China, you know, for more stability and less conflict, which is, you know, kind of what happens when you work with somebody. Um, that being said, man, we've been raked over the coals and gotten up the butt pretty damn hard by China um, for a long damn time now. Decades. And um, it's time that the trade is equalized again. Because without that equal trade, you don't have that stability and you, you don't have that less conflict either. So, you know, kind of happy mediums for all kind of thing. Indian forces kill six Naga militants near Myanmar border, find stash of weapons and bombs. How come I never find a stash like that? I just, like, I don't know. just never do, right? The only place you find stashes like that is video games. And I don't play those kind of video games. <clears throat> Damn it. Uh, five killed, dozens of firearms seized in hostage situation and violent shootout at South African Church. Over 60%, uh, again, Saturday, so. Uh, over 60% of travelers plan to reduce trips in post-pandemic world, says an IATA survey. Serbian police arrest 71 protesters, including Brit, as mayhem over COVID-19 restrictions continues against Saturday. So, no UFOs or secret arms tests. Investigators say they've uncovered true cause behind mysterious 
a diet love pass deaths in 1959. Now, I probably said the name of that completely wrong, and I apologize for that. But this is interesting. I didn't really know about this. Um, but this actually, this, this probe, actually the results of this probe have been rejected. <laughs> so they're saying here that it, essentially it was an avalanche, right? Um, and anyway, that, that explanation has been rejected. You'll see that in the news. But this is, this is interesting. I didn't know about this prior. And uh, it's some interesting stuff. Uh, with COVID-19 vaccine almost ready, Russia intends to create special version just for kids. Look, it's just for kids. North Korea warns UK will pay the price for brazen sanctions and calls it the U.S. puppet. Um, yeah. Japan uh, may still install Aegis Ashore missile defense systems despite calling it quits on project with the U.S., says reports. A heinous and unprovoked stabbing spree on New York subway caught on video. Uh, tens of thousands of Israelis protest Netanyahu's handling of COVID-19 crisis. Okinawans shocked and demand transparency after COVID-19 outbreaks at U.S. bases increased Japanese prefectures case toll by 40%. Yikes. Guess what country isn't handling COVID-19 very well? Are we pointing at ourselves yet? U.N. Security Council adopts Syria cross-border aid resolution but refuses to address humanitarian cost of sanctions. By the way, and I say that, right? I'm not just talking out my ass when I say that. Um, we aren't doing very well. We, we started off, we kicked ass. I mean, we kicked ass. It was awesome, right? Not so much anymore. Not so much anymore. No, right? Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. No, we're, we're, uh, yeah, not, not so hot. So we started out good, right? We kicked it in the ass. Then we got stupid. We'll see. See what happens. U.S. military supply convoy attacked and torched in Iraq. Hannibal Lecter or Darth Vader? Trump wears mask in public for the first time, providing meme fodder for critics. <laughs> I'm going to go with Hannibal Lecter. Man plows minivan into packed Florida church, starts fire, and leads cops on high-speed chase. Russia starts building world's largest and most powerful nuclear icebreaker for Arctic sea voyages. Oh, we're on Saturday's news, by uh, Sunday's news, by the way. Sorry. Uh, burning barricades and sound weapon protested Oregon courthouse continues as arrests and injuries mount. Sound weapon. Yeah, they, they, I, I do believe they did have a, uh, a sound can in there. Um, if you're just now finding out about that, you're a little behind on the learning curve. Uh, stomach turning turbulence leaves passengers screaming and praying on flight from Ridya. China set to fall short on U.S. energy purchases. We went to see economic engines fired up. U.K. government drops stay at home message as Gov urges people back to their workplaces. Iran investigators blame misaligned military radar and inept trigger-happy operator for downing Ukrainian passenger plane. Scotland doesn't rule out quarantining English visitors over COVID-19, says Sturgeon. U.S.-Russian relation, uh, US relations remained at almost bottom point, unbefitting of leading nuclear power, says the Kremlin. That... It's a hell of a statement, ladies and gentlemen. At almost bottom point. If you forgot, we had this whole Cold War thing that we went through that almost went hot a number of times. And 
if we're near that, you need to think about that. Florida reports largest single-day in increase in COVID cases. Again, that was yesterday. Several injured and missing after explosion and massive fire, fire at biofuel plant in China. Azerbaijan says two of its troops killed in border clash with Armenian soldiers, sparking fears of new escalation. A uh, gun store offers free rifle to Missouri couple seen guarding their home from BLM protesters after police confiscate theirs. Facebook. And biggest daily increase since start of COVID-19 epidemic, Florida confirms over 15,000 new infections. I just showed you that and you've seen the mask. I put that out on Twitter. Uh, group seeking truth behind one of Soviet's greatest mysteries, Dedalov Poss, however you say it, deaths, rejects official probe that blamed Avalanche. So, like I say, it's kind of an interesting thing if, if you haven't uh, heard about it. Kind of an interesting thing. Um, explosion reported in sailors injured as U.S. military ship catches fire in San Diego. German officials furious after meat packer behind COVID-19 outbreak that placed 600,000 people on lockdown requests salary refund. COVID-19 origin, ex-Trump advisor Bannon claims West has defectors from Wuhan and people will be shocked at their revelations. We'll see. It could be a bunch of BS. We'll see. Uh, WHO reports over 230,000 new infections of COVID-19, marking a new record daily rise. Seven arrested, two officers injured during Sunday morning protest outside City Hall. This was, uh, this was in the St. Louis area. I'm not sure exactly what, uh, what part of St. Louis. Tracking COVID-19, Missouri sees hospitalization surge. Illinois hits back to days of 1,000 cases. Temporary layoffs coming to GM plant in Wentzville, Missouri, a company says. Uh, let's see. This is exactly what led to George Floyd's death. Pennsylvania cop filmed kneeling on man's neck triggers fresh outrage. Uh, let's see, 21 injured as massive blaze and explosion crippled U.S. military ship in San Diego. Kind of an update to that other, uh, other one there. British 2012 Olympic team used in trial for special forces a wonder drug despite lack of understanding of side effects, says a report. Get a lot of that. <laughs> Watch military pilots test most advanced version of Russian flying tank Su-25 filmed in detail from cockpit. So they're, they're uh, releasing more information about this aircraft. I'm telling you what, that thing's, uh, yeah. <laughs> it is a flying tank. It's pretty sweet. Um, China's 5G phone shipments see explosive growth, growth or growth, either one, gaining a larger share of mobile phone market. And we're today's news, by the way, if you hadn't noticed. Uh, tit for tat, tat, China. Oh, wait. I don't know if I said this headline earlier or not. Tit for tat, China blacklists U.S. Senators Rubio, Cruz, and other officials in response to sanctions over Xinjiang. Service outages compromise security uh, possible unless government takes common sense approach to Huawei, says the BT CEO. Uh, black and blue, BLM and NYPD supporters duke it out on New York City streets for second night in a row. That's what I started out talking about. Second night in a row, BLM and NYPD supporters are fighting in the streets of New York City. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. <laughs> um... A Mary Poppins for everyone. Russian MP proposes free state provided nannies for families with two or more young children. I say not only no, but hell no. 
I don't want the state providing my education or the education of my children, and I damn sure don't want the government providing a nanny for my children. No. <laughs> Russia supplies first shipment of Arctic oil to China. Haven't got a clue. Leicester mayor hits out at UK government as health secretary says authorities fighting 100 plus COVID-19 outbreaks a week. Israeli court tosses out amnesty petition to stop export of Pegasus spyware. Hmm. High quality migrants wanted. Uh, let's see. Russian deputy prime minister says pandemic has given Moscow time to rethink immigration policy. Latin America overtakes U.S. and Canada as second worst affected region in COVID-19 pandemic, says an AFP tally. I hope someone kills your whole effing family. A disabled BLM protester berates police at Portland riot. Things are heating up, folks. Things are heating up. And this is, this is in particular something that I had warned about a long time ago. Folks, we need to watch the chips that we have on our shoulders. Okay? We need to watch the chips that we have on our shoulders. Think of what I'm saying. And think of this headline. You know, people are people. And, and, and I'm watching as people are just absolutely at their limit, fed up. You know? Uh, Russia's Arctic region sees second fuel leak in just two months as state of emergency declared. Tax us, it's the only choice. After COVID-19, millionaires demand permanent rise in taxes for people with lots of money. NFL's Washington Redskins to retire name and logo after pressure from sponsors to rebrand. There's a lot of people throwing a fit over this, too. But I've got more important things I'm concerned with. Really, I do. I'm looking at a virus that's going to freaking, yeah, it's not going to be good. And uh, possible global conflict that's in, like, world war? Yeah. I'm... I'm not even going to get involved in that debate. Trump calls on police to take a stronger stand with the radical left Democratic city governments, meaning what exactly? Well, he wants war. He should just say it. He wants civil war. French cops and Europol capture suspected darknet child porn dealer from its list of global priority targets. Fed creating stock market bubble by printing trillions of dollars in coronavirus relief. Oil price crash sparks a wave of banking mergers in the Middle East. Giant blobs of sea foam consume Cape Town as city lashed by gale force winds. Uh, Ex-journalist Ivan Safranoff charged with high treason after allegedly passing secret information to NATO. Tesla becomes 10th largest U.S. company by market value after stocks break all-time high. World Trade Center catches fire in Nigeria, pumps out huge columns of smoke. Uh, first federal execution in the U.S. in 17 years stopped by a judge hours before being carried out. Now, I at a loss. On this one. I don't even know what to think. Let me have a sip of coffee on this. Because I got to show you this. So. I know I shouldn't assume anything. I know I shouldn't. I get that. But I am anyway. I'm going to assume. I'm going to assume. That the uh, judge. That made this call. Is probably little bit liberal for some reason I don't know why I can't quite put my finger on it but 
Just, yeah. We'll go with that. So, providing my assumption that make me look like an ass. A judge in Washington, D.C. has ordered a delay in the execution of convicted murderer Daniel Lewis Lee, who would have been the first federal execution carried out in the U.S. in more than 17 years had it gone ahead. Judge Tanya Chutkan ruled, and I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, on Monday to po postpone the executions of several death row inmates until further notice to allow legal challenges to the legal injection procedure which is used for federal executions. Now, again, I know it's just an assumption, but it's probably a pretty accurate one that she's liberal. Okay? Next paragraph, please. Lee, a self-described white supremacist from Oklahoma, was sentenced to death for the brutal 1996 murder of a family of three, including an eight-year-old child. His life was expected to be ended, ended a day after the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals in Indiana rejected a petition by relatives of the victims. Um, who asked for a delay because they feared they could get infected with COVID-19 while in, uh, attending the procedure. So, now, <coughs> a lot of times they will seek these delays for any damn reason they can get. All right? Because all during the time of this delay... They're going to be firing all kinds of other things in there as to why that they shouldn't execute the guy. Because it's what they do. Okay? But this guy is a white supremacist. <laughs> eh, yeah. Conflict of interest on this one. But whatever. Uh, let's see here. Uh, coronavirus remains public enemy number one, and pandemic may get worse and worse and worse, says the WHO. Uh, taking a man out of manufacturing, MIT scientists designed two-fingered robot that can handle delicate human tasks. Black Forest Rambo, German police in manhunt for suspect who disarmed four officers and fled into the wild armed with a bow. Hmm. WHO team probing origins of coronavirus to work with Chinese scientists in Wuhan. I'm sure that's going to work out real well. Red paint thrown on Black Lives Matter painted outside Trump Tower in New York City. Uh, U.S. rejects nearly all Chinese claims in South China Sea. And California shuts down again as U.S. coronavirus crisis expands. I've got a number three up here. U.S. says Beijing's claims in South China Sea are completely unlawful and condemns China for bullying other countries. Um, and that would be it. That would be it. Okay, let me go ahead and close up because that was uh, yeah, that's a monologue that should probably be put out if I don't forget and have time. So for those here for the live show, stick around. We'll be live until 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. For those here for the monologue or if you're watching the recording later on, thank you very much as always. God bless you. We love you and be one with your spirit.